immigration today, but we're also uh, discussing trade. We have a very big trade presence and uh, a very good relationship on trade. Do a lot of business with each other. And, Chancellor, it's very nice to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Thank you, Mr. President, for receiving us here in the U.S. and the White House. It's a pleasure for my delegation and for me to be here. Austria, as you probably know, is, a, compared to the U.S., a very small country, but we are a beautiful country. It's true. We are an economically quite strong country. You would probably say a great country. Uh, we are in the heart of the European Union, an active member state of the European Union. As a small country, we need international cooperation, and therefore I hope that we can discuss now our bilateral relations, but also the relations between the European Union and the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Of course, trade uh, and how we can gain economic growth for the U.S., but also for Europe, and probably international issues like Middle East, Korea, right. and probably also Russia. Thank right. you for receiving us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, are you going to impose auto tariffs on the Europeans? Well, it's something we certainly think about. We're trying to make a deal. They're very tough to make a deal with the EU. Uh, they've been very difficult over a period of time, over many, many years. And so it's something we think about, and we're negotiating with them. If we don't make the deal, we'll do the tariffs. The new report hasn't changed your mind about it at all? There's a new report from the Commerce Department? Uh, the new report is not that kind of a report. It's just really a study that's underway. Uh, we've studied it very carefully. We've uh, seen the results. But the bottom line result is whether or not we can make a deal with the EU. That's fair. We lose about $151 billion trading with the EU. That's a lot of money. And uh, this has been going on for many years. Uh, they wouldn't meet with the Obama administration. And uh, they're meeting with us. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what Mr. happens. Mr. President, I should the Mueller report be released once you're abroad next week? That'll be totally up to the new Attorney General. He's a tremendous man, a tremendous uh, person who really respects this country and respects the Justice Department. So that'll be totally up to him. The new Attorney, the new Attorney General. Yes. Yeah, that will, I guess, uh, from what I understand, that will be totally up to the Attorney General. Okay. Mr. President, Say it. Uh, I don't know uh, which report you're talking about. We have many reports. Anybody else? Mr. What President, what do you expect from Austria? What do you expect from the Austrian Chancellor to do in European policy? Well, we're just going to have a great meeting. We have a great relationship, and our countries have a great relationship. And uh, he's a very young leader, I have to tell you. You are a young guy. That's pretty good. But the problem but, with the age is getting better from day to day. So. That's right. <laughs> Someday you won't be saying it. <laughs> but we have a very good relationship, and we have a great trade relationship, and that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today. Are you considering replacing Dan Coats as your director of national intelligence? Uh, I haven't even thought about it. Mr. President, you spoke to the Prime Minister today. I did. How hard is it going to be to get North Korea to completely verify the nuclear Well, I spoke with uh, this morning with Prime Minister Abe. had a long conversation with him. We talked about the trip next week to Vietnam, which would be, I think, very successful. I think the first trip to Singapore was extremely successful. Uh, we'll be meeting with Chairman Kim for two days, and I think we'll accomplish a lot. We started off with a very good meeting, and I think we'll continue that along. I don't think this will be the last meeting by any chance, but I, I do think that uh, the relationship is very strong. When we started, as you know, there were a lot of problems. There was uh, missiles going all over. There were hostages that were being held. Uh, there were remains that we wanted to get back. There were many, many things. Now uh, there's no nuclear testing, no missiles going up, and we have a good relationship, very good relationship, I'd say. So uh, I spoke with uh, Prime Minister Abe of Japan about that, and uh, we compared notes. And I think we are very much on the same wavelength. It was a good meeting, good, good conversation. No, I don't think they're reluctant. I think they want to do something. But I, I you know, you've been uh, talking about this for 80 years. They've been talking about this for many, many years. And no administration has uh, done anything. They've gotten taken to the cleaners. And I think we have a really meaningful relationship. We'll see what happens. The sanctions are on in full. As you know, I haven't taken sanctions off. 
I'd love to be able to, but in order to do that, we have to do something that's meaningful on the other side. But Chairman Kim and I have a very good relationship. I wouldn't be surprised to see something work out. Uh, I really believe that as an economic power, because of its location in between, I mean, you look on a map and you see Russia, China, and right in the middle of everything is South Korea, but North Korea right smack in the middle. So you have Russia, China, and then South Korea, and this is right in the middle. A tremendous potential for economic well-being long term. And I think he understands that very well. I think he might understand that better than anybody. So they have a great, great potential as a country, and I think that's what they're looking to do. We'll see. But uh, we've made a lot of progress. We've made a tremendous amount. That doesn't mean this is going to be the last meeting, because I don't believe it will. But we have uh, subjects to discuss which will be very fruitful, I believe. Mr. President, Mr. President can I also... Andrew McCabe briefing McConnell and Paul Ryan and Devin Nunes telling them about the investigation. Continue. Well, I think Andrew McCabe has made a fool out of himself over the last couple of days. And he really looks to me like sort of a poor man's J. Edgar Hoover. He's a... Uh, I think he's a disaster. And what he was trying to do was terrible, and he was caught. I'm very proud to say we caught him. So we'll see what happens. But he, uh, he is a disgraced man. He was terminated, not by me, he was terminated by others. Uh, the IG report was a disaster, a disaster from his standpoint. Anybody reading the IG report would say, how could a man like this be involved with the FBI. And the FBI has some of the greatest people, some of the finest people you'll ever meet. But this man is a complete disaster. Thank you all very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.